Hello, this video is about how to use and operate a three dial TRF receiver from the early 20s. If you like the video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up and like the video. Thank you. I'm going to start the video with an Atwater Kent number 4340, the model 10, three dial TRF, two stages RF amplification, a detector, and two stages of audio amplification. On off power switch. Grid bias potentiometer used as a volume control. TA unit consists of detector and two stages of audio amplification. The rheostat is to control the filaments on the three tubes, thus controlling volume. One of the two RF tube islands with rheostat to control the filament and volume. One of the three variable condensers enclosed in a can to tune in the stations, your station selectors. One of the three RF coils. Battery binding post. Speaker binding post. Power on. Grid bias potentiometer volume. First and second tube island rheostat filament emission volume. Detector first and second audio frequency amplifier volume. If the set starts squealing, oscillating, back off on the potentiometer or the rheostats. Detector tuner. Second RF stage tuner. First stage RF tuner. Patiently tune all three tuners a few divisions at a time with patience. The detector and the second RF amplifier should track with the same number on the dial pretty close. The first stage may be off a few uh, divisions due to the antenna loading. There are three binding posts on the left side of the breadboard for ground, short antenna and long antenna. Try the two antenna posts to see which one works the best with the antenna that you're using and loads the best in the strongest signal.
Atwater Kent Breadboard Model 9, number 4445, 4-tube TRF, using a varial meter and a varial coupler instead of variable condensers. The set operates like the Model 10, however this one less tuner makes it a little bit easier, you have one tuner for each hand. Here is a 1925 Atwater Kent number 7570 model 20 compact, a three dial TRF receiver. Between the first and second tuner, there's a three position switch to couple to the antenna. Use this for the loudest signal and the best results. Power switch and rheostats. The left rheostat is for the RF 
stage, the two RF tubes for the filaments. The second rheostat to the right is for the detector and two audio amplifiers. This is what you use to control the volume on this receiver. years of Black Lives Matter, all on the New Yorker Radio Hour, just ahead. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Luis Giovanni. Hamas backed militants cross. to the top of the list. This was November with 1961 in the studio for the first time, Sinatra and Costa. Industrial grade supplies for every industry. 
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up for the video. Thank you.